this is a quick look at the shopping that's available in Phuket. You find loads of different styles of shopping there from markets to shopping malls to shops on the street. In pretty much every town in Phuket you will find loads of shops on the street. These sell a whole variety of goods from men's clothes to women's clothes, all sorts of bags, sunglasses, souvenirs, beach toys and beach wear, women's swimwear, rasta wear, hats and sarongs, shoes, Silver and jewellery, loads of sunglasses, and even art, knickknacks, GoPro and camera accessories, disco shirts, fine tailors, and there's plenty of little laneways and malls with loads of other shops. One great place to shop in Patong is Patong Otop. It's not far from the center of Paton, and inside you'll find dozens and dozens of different shops all under the one roof. You find everything there, clothes, t-shirts, sportswear, and lots of friendly staff ready to help you. I'm ready! There's also souvenirs, even Hello Kitty gear. So that's a quick look at the streets of Patong. You'll also find similar shops in the other towns of Phuket. This is Karon Main Street and Kata Main Street. The shops are generally open from about 10 o'clock in the morning till 10 at night. Ocean packs and hats. Bags and other souvenirs and knickknacks. lamps, more bags. Generally these shops open at about 10 in the morning and are open till about 10 at night. You'll also find other stores, this is a shoe and bag shop, other tailor and again in these towns you'll find lots of malls and plazas. This is Caron Plaza. It has a huge range of different stuff, everything from jeans to sunglasses and shirts and lots of souvenirs travel wear. There's a huge range of goods available and generally in these shops you can barter to get a better price. There's also some shopping centres around Phuket. Pretty close to the centre of Patong is Jung Silong. It's not a huge shopping centre, there's three levels of shops there. The shopping centres in Thailand are very similar to the ones you'd find in your home country. All sorts of clothing stores, restaurants and fast food, banks. There's also a supermarket and electrical stores. It's open from 11 o'clock in the morning till 10 at night. A little bit further out on the outskirts of Phuket Town is Central Festival. It's on the western side of Phuket Town. It's about a 20 minute journey from Patong to get there. This shopping centre is bigger than Jung Salon, it's got a bigger range. Again there's three levels of shops, you'll find all sorts of clothes, sportswear, electrical items and there's also a number of food courts and restaurants here. Most stores in the shopping centres have set prices, you can't barter for most items here. You'll also find a number of Big C and Tesco Lotus shopping centres. They're centred around a big variety store, but you also find lots of smaller stores and food courts and restaurants there as well. Next is the Premium Outlet Phuket. It's about a 20 minute journey from Phuket town and about 35 minutes from Patong. This is an outlet centre, you find dozens of different brand names here. Generally the prices here are pretty similar to the prices you might expect to pay at an outlet centre in your home country.
There's also loads of markets in Phuket. This is the Phuket Weekend Market. It has a huge variety of stores. There's hundreds of stores here all under the one roof. It has just about everything you could imagine. There's also lots of restaurants and bars and a huge street food area there as well. It's on the outskirts of Phuket town and it's around about 20 minutes from Patong to get there. Find all sorts of women's wear, sarongs, other Thai style clothes, women's pants, heaps of men's shirts, lots of brand names. More disco shirts there, all sorts of jackets, heaps of denim and jeans, men's and women's underwear. Every style of shoe you could possibly imagine. Silver and other jewellery. Earrings, pearls, loads of watches and clocks, thousands of sunglasses, souvenirs. Backpacks and handbags, wallets and purses, guitars, CDs and DVDs, selfie sticks and phone accessories, lights and lanterns, ocean packs, handmade metal goods, preserved insects, Fishing gear. This market's open on Saturday and Sunday from 4 till 10 p.m. And as I mentioned earlier, it has pretty much everything you could possibly want all under one roof. On Sunday nights in the heart of Phuket Town is the Phuket Town Walking Street. This market has heaps of food available and there's lots of different shopping as well. There's a mix of new and secondhand goods. Everything from cactuses to jewellery, clothes, external power supplies for phones, GoPro accessories, shorts, phone cases, Hair bands, Chinese door knockers and other Chinese style goods. It's a very popular market. It's open from about 4 o'clock till 10 o'clock and it gets very busy around 7 o'clock. Shorts, denim, Phuket souvenir shirts. Find all sorts of shoes there including Thai style shoes. Heaps of sunglasses, hats, handmade jewellery and other handcrafts. Lamps. Heaps of toys. You can even get your hair cut there. These are soap, which is hand carved into the shape of Thai flowers. 
it's a great place for some shopping and it's also a really good place to try some local food. You'll also find markets with a similar range of goods in pretty much every other town in Phuket. This is the Karon Temple Market which is open every Tuesday and Saturday. Again you'll find jewellery here, watches, all sorts of Thai souvenirs, Muay Thai gear, phone accessories, earphones and selfie sticks, glass ornaments, beauty products, handbags and heaps of clothes, lots of men's t-shirts, women's clothes, jeans, kids clothes. Generally on markets like this you can barter for the price, swimwear, belts, sunglasses, the market's under top Holland, so it opens rain or shine. There's also a similar market in nearby Qatar which is open on Mondays and Thursdays from about 4pm till 10pm. Again it's got a very similar range of goods. It is quite a large market, it'd probably take you a couple of hours to get around there and as well as clothes and other items, there's also a big range of fresh and street food available. Again there's heaps of women's clothes, shirts and blouses, pants and shorts, women's swimwear, underwear and bras. And there's also heaps of men's and kids wear, shirts and jackets, dresses, so some novelty shirts, there's also loads of shoes, belts, watches, bags, phone cases, heaps of souvenirs, other novelty items and travel wear. There's another market that opens in the Home Pro Village in Chelong on Tuesday afternoons and evenings. This one seems to be a little bit more upmarket. There's less copied brand name goods and more original name items here. You'll find women's wear, men's wear, denim, sorts of army wear, souvenir shirts, sorts of shoes and bags. sunglasses, more phone accessories, hair accessories, handcrafts and jewellery. Earrings, beauty products, as well as the markets I've shown here. You'll also find markets in Rawai and Kamala on other days as well. On pretty much any day in Phuket there are a number of different markets that are operating. As well as these more touristy markets, there's also a heap of local markets which are dotted around Phuket. These are where the locals go for shopping. You won't find brand name goods there, but the goods that are there are very cheap. This is a local market that I found just north of Phuket town, not far from the Phuket bus station number two. These markets are primarily fresh food markets, but there's also lots of shopping. You find loads of shirts and jeans. All at very cheap prices. Shirts and shorts. Fun for all members of the family, men, women and children. Men's and women's underwear. All manner of shoes. Bags hair and fashion accessories, CDs and DVDs though most of these are actually in Thai. There's a similar market in Chalong on Sunday mornings, again all sorts of clothes, shorts, there's a huge range of second hand clothes here as well, bags and there's heaps of fresh and street food available here too. There's another big market which is open every day in Katu, which is between Phuket Town and Patong. Again, this is primarily a food market. 
but there's lots of other stuff available as well. You find all sorts of shoes, everything from flip flops to rubber boots. It's open every day, all day, but after about five o'clock, a lot more vendors come and set up on the road. As well as all manner of shopping, there's also a huge variety of street food here. And there'll be more videos on that coming in the near future. In here you won't really find Western brand name items. There's lots of Thai style shirts here for men, women and children. Heaps of women's clothes, sarongs, socks, hats, bags and beauty products. Wallets. It's a big shop selling all sorts of Thai cookware. There's a pretty good variety of stuff at this market, but it is mainly a food market. As I said earlier, these are the places that the locals come for their shopping. If you want to take in some Thai culture and mix with the locals, these markets are great places to do it. Another place where the local shop in Phuket is super cheap. This is just north of Phuket town, again not far from bus station number two. It's a massive warehouse style shop and you will find absolutely everything you could possibly imagine here. Fresh food, so loads of prepared Thai food. Packaged supermarket items. Baby gear, there's also a big liquor store, an electronics section, heaps of clothes, toys, bags, candles and souvenirs, kitchen gear, sorts of baskets, electrical goods, white goods, stereo systems, furniture, even motorbikes. And outside there's a big area selling all sorts of Thai street food. So that's a quick look at some of the shopping options available in Phuket. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new Thailand videos every Wednesday. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.